Actually, I was working for uh, multiples for Richard Duardo, who's another powerhouse, pre-making facilities. They only hire people who knew what they were doing. And I was working there until they, they, they had to, they, I was the last person to leave. They, 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 he didn't have any money. He was going through problems with the IRS and decided I better close the shop to keep these people off my back. He got his, he got his reasons. But one day I was renting and Oscar Duardo, his brother, came to visit and I was doing a, one of Costavi's seal screen and he liked my work and said, you can work for me and whenever you want. I said, dude, I'd rather you work for me if I can afford it, you know? <laughs> and then I asked him, are you a print? I said, yeah, I work for Self Graphics in East Los Angeles. East Los Angeles, for me, the taboo, the, 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 the chisme on the TV, that they'll kill you, they cut your guts, don't go in there. It was kind of scary, right? And then later on, I was an employee at home and I just kind of took it easy because I've been working since 1978, non-stop, doing just printmaking, mastering this this this, this uh, medium. And I thought, oh, I'm not even gonna look for jobs because probably, I'd probably get a job as a t-shirt printer and I hate, I hate that, I hate doing t-shirts. Uh, but unfortunately, I, I got my share to work as a t-shirt company for two days and I, I, I quit. I don't leave it. Give me some shares. You don't have to pay me. Let's give me some shares and I'm going home. And then finally, I got a phone call and said, Joe, do you still still looking for a job? Because Sister Karen is a printer. And I said, who's Sister Karen? Silver Graphics, place I used to work. So I came. I set up a meeting with her. I came over and she, she said, I just hire somebody. It was a t-shirt printer, very experienced t-shirt printer. He was like 21 or 22 years old. He just have a little, he just got his wife, just have a little baby. It kind of reminded me, it reminded me of me somehow, you know. And I said, but you know, you can help him because he's not a fine art printer and maybe you can give him some some pointers. And uh, we'll give you prints and say, uh, I can't do anything with prints. I have a lot of those under my bed. I need money. <laughs> I can't eat paper. Okay, well, but you don't understand how this works. It's a non-profit organization. Do you want me to help this guy or not? Because I, I need to, you know, I have another meeting. I say, okay, I'm going to hire you for a week. And I'll give you this money. And just understand this money is coming out of my pocket. Because I didn't have a budget. I didn't get a... Uh, okay. So I worked in the studio and I was like... Wow, it was a mess. I mean, this I consider a mess. But it was really bad. No organization whatsoever. It was left closed for months before they find another printer. And the printer, like, as soon as I guess, as soon as he got the job, didn't have time to organize the studio. Which just let's keep the program going. So I worked for a week, left, and then about six months later. I got another call, I said, the printer and software graphics is leaving. I came and asked again for the job, and I got the job. One of the things that, that made me decide to take the job, because I, I made a mistake, I told Sister Karen, okay, I'll take the job until I find something better. Because I'm an honest guy, and that, that's the stupid side of me. I said, no, 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 you can't do that. If you're going to be here, you promised me three years. And I promise you that every Friday you're gonna get your check. If I have to go on the street and sell pencils to make you your money, I'll do that.